Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 58 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please make sure your Bible is with you and let's get started. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Areleba. Day 58, February 27th, 2023. 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Leviticus 1, Leviticus 2, Leviticus 3. New Testament, Mark 9, verse 29 to 50, Mark 10, verse 1 to 12. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 27, verse 1 to 6. Old Testament and IV version, Leviticus 1, verse 1 to 17. The Burnt Offering The Lord called to Moses and spoke to him from the tent of meeting. He said, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When anyone among you brings an offering to the Lord, bring as your offering an animal from either the herd or the flock. If the offering is a burnt offering from the herd, you are to offer a meal without defect. You must present it at the entrance to the tent of meeting so that it will be acceptable to the Lord. You are to lay your hand on the head of the burnt offering and it will be accepted on your behalf to make atonement for you. You are to slaughter the young bull before the Lord and then Aaron's sons, the priest, shall burn shall bring the blood and splash it against the sides of the altar at the entrance to the tent of meeting. You are to skin the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. The sons of Aaron, the priests, are to put fire on the altar and arrange wood on the fire. Then Aaron's sons, the priests, shall arrange the pieces, including the head and the fat, on the wood that is burning on the altar. You are to wash the internal organs and the legs with water and the priests, is to burn all of it on the altar. It is a burnt offering, a food offering, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. If the offering is a burnt offering from the flock, from either the sheep or the goats, you are to offer a meal without defect. You are to slaughter it at the north side of the altar before the Lord. And Aaron's sons, the priest, shall splash its blood against the sides of the altar. You are to cut it into pieces, and the priest shall arrange them, including the head and the fat on the wood that is burning on the altar. You are to wash the internal organs and the legs with water, and the priest is to bring all of them and burn them on the altar. It is a burnt offering, a food offering, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. If the offering to the Lord is a burnt offering of birds, you are to offer a dove or a young pigeon. The priest shall bring it to the altar, ring off the head, and burn it on the altar. Its blood shall be drained out on the side of the altar. He is to remove the crop and the feathers and throw them down east of the altar where the ashes are. He shall tear it open by the wings, not dividing it completely, and then the priest shall burn it on the wood that is burning on the altar. It is a burnt offering, a food offering, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. Leviticus 2 verse 1 to 16, the grain offering. When anyone brings a grain offering to the Lord, their offering is to be of the finest flour. They are to pour olive oil on it, put incense on it, and take it to Aaron's sons, the priest. The priest shall take a handful of the flour and oil together with all the incense and burn this as a memorial portion on the altar, a food offering and aroma pleasing to the Lord. The rest of the grain offering belongs to Aaron and his sons. It is a most holy part of the food offerings presented to the Lord. If you bring a grain offering baked in an oven, it is to consist of the finest flour, either thick loaves made without yeast and with olive oil mixed in or thin loaves made without yeast and brushed with olive oil. If your grain offering is prepared on a griddle, it is to be made of the finest flour mixed with oil and without yeast. Crumble it and pour oil on it. It is a grain offering. 
If your grain offering is cooked in a pan, it is to be made of the finest flour and some olive oil. Bring the grain offering made of these things to the Lord. Present it to the priest who shall take it to the altar. He shall take out the memorial portion from the grain offering and burn it on the altar as a food offering and aroma pleasing to the Lord. The rest of the grain offering belongs to Aaron and his sons. It is a most holy part of the food offerings presented to the Lord. Every grain offering you bring to the Lord must be made without yeast, for you are not to burn any yeast or honey in a food offering presented to the Lord. You may bring them to the Lord as an offering of the first fruits, but they are not to be offered on the altar as a pleasing aroma. Season all your grain offerings with salt. Do not leave the salt of the covenant of your God out of your grain offerings. Add salt to all your offerings. If you bring a grain offering of first fruits to the Lord, offer crushed heads of new grain roasted in the fire. Put oil and incense on it. It is a grain offering. The priest shall burn the memorial portion of the crushed grain and the oil, together with all the incense, as a food offering presented to the Lord. Leviticus 3 verse 1 to 17. The fellowship offering. If your offering is a fellowship offering, and you offer an animal from the herd, whether male or female, you are to present before the Lord an animal without defect. You are to lay your hand on the head of your offering and slaughter it at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Then Aaron's sons, the priests, shall splash the blood against the sides of the altar. From the fellowship offering, you are to bring a food offering to the Lord. The internal organs and all the fat that is connected to them, both kidneys with the fat on them near the loins, and the long lobe of the liver, which you will remove with the kidneys. Then Aaron's sons are to burn it on the altar on top of the burnt offering that is lying on the burning wood. It is a food offering and aroma pleasing to the Lord. If you offer an animal from the flock as a fellowship offering to the Lord, you are to offer a male or female without defect. If you offer a lamb, you are to present it before the Lord. Lay your hand on its head and slaughter it in front of the tent of meeting. Then Aaron's sons shall splash his blood against the sides of the altar. From the fellowship offering, you are to bring a food offering to the Lord, its fat, the entire fat tail, cut off close to the backbone, the internal organs, and all the fat that is connected to them, both kidneys with the fat on them, near the loins, and the long lobe of the liver, which you will remove with the kidneys. The priest shall burn them on the altar as a food offering presented to the Lord. If your offering is a goat, you are to present it before the Lord. Lay your hand on its head and slaughter it in front of the tent of meeting. Then Aaron's sons shall splash its blood against the sides of the altar. From what you offer, you are to present this food offering to the Lord, the internal organs and all the fat that is connected to them, both kidneys with the fat on them near the loins and the long lobe of the liver, which you will remove with the kidneys. The priest shall burn them on the altar as a food offering, a pleasing aroma. All the fat is the Lord's. This is a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. Wherever you live, you must not eat any fat or any blood. New Testament NIV version, Mark 9, verse 30 to 50. Jesus predicts his death a second time. They left that place and passed through Galilee. Jesus did not want anyone to know where they were because he was teaching his disciples. He said to them, the Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. They will kill him, and after three days he will rise. But they did not understand what he meant and, uh, and were afraid to ask him about it. They came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the road? But they kept quiet because on the way they had argued about who was the greatest. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and the servant of all. He took a little child whom he placed among them. Taking the child in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me. Whoever is not against us is for us. 
Teacher, said John, we saw someone driving out demons in your name and we told him to stop because he was not one of us. Do not stop him, Jesus said, for no one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Truly I tell you, anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to the Messiah will certainly not lose their reward. Hallelujah. Causing to stumble. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them if a large millstone were hung around their neck and they were thrown into the sea. If you... If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go into hell where the fire never goes up. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where the worms that eat them do not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can you make it salty again? Have salt among yourselves and be at peace with each other. Mark 10 verse 1 to 12. Divorce. Jesus then left that place and went into the region of Judea and across the Jordan. Again, crowds of people came to him, and as was his custom, he taught them. Some Pharisees came and tested him by asking, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? What did Moses command you? He replied. They said, Moses permitted a man to write a certificate of divorce and send her away. It was because your hearts were hard that Moses wrote you this law, Jesus replied. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. When they were in the house again, the disciples asked Jesus about this. He answered, Anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another man, she commits adultery. Psalms and Proverbs Psalm 27 verse 1 to 6 of David The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall though an army beseech me my heart will not fear though war break out against me even then i will be confident one thing i ask from the lord this only do i seek that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the lord and to seek him in his temple hallelujah for in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling he will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me at his sacred tent i will sacrifice with shouts of joy i will sing and make music to the lord hallelujah glory to god amen Please, if you're here and you like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Can you go ahead right now, send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. That is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. God bless you.
please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on tiktok at sandra boyo Arulaba. thank you for being here today please remember to share this video with your friends family and loved ones encourage them to join us every single day as we read our bibles with just less than 20 minutes every day it's always a pleasure having you here today. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.